As we look at the core components of the .NET framework, it's important to note that XML is so important throughout .NET. XML is used when we create web services. It is the way that we package up calls to requests and responses from web services. So we'll be looking at that. And another way XML is used is, for example, in ADO.NET. There's tight integration now in the way that ADO use, uh, retrieves data from databases and packages that up. You can then transform it into XML very easily. And it, it is really the, the native way that ADO is handling exchanges of data. So there's a lot to do with XML throughout the .NET framework. And you'll notice that as you go through. Also, finally, I think it's important to note that there is a system.xml programming API within the .NET framework that you can use. So a lot of people are using XML in creating enterprise applications, workgroup applications, internet applications, and XML is throughout all of the .NET framework. So let's continue looking at a few more elements of the .NET framework.